So the session talked about the need to integrate and align your external brand identity, your internal workplace culture, and then bring that to life in an integrated customer and employee experience. And I think one of the biggest takeaways from our discussion is that it's really a journey. You know, you're never going to absolutely get to the destination, but you always want to be working towards tighter integration, tighter in alignment, and tighter connection. Uh, the inauthenticity or the um, conflict that happens when these things aren't integrated in line opens up a lot of risk and crisis for an organization. Whereas if you have this tight alignment, there's so much more power and momentum and real commitment from your employees. The future work, I'm not actually sure. There are so many variables, so many changes that are going on right now. I will say that the uh, consumerism that I think employees now bring into the workplace will only grow, but I think in a way that probably is less um, selfish in the sense of what are you what you as an employer are giving to me but more in terms of how can we how can I make decisions and how can I do my work in a way that really contributes to the mission of the company and to a greater good for the, for society or, or people in general and how do I use my agency as an employee to do that the first thing you need to do to integrate and align your brand and culture is to have clear visibility on what your desired culture is sometimes I think people think that well culture just grows organically or everyone knows what it is but I think you need to clearly articulate what are those foundational core values that you expect to inform and instruct everyone in your organization make sure that those are clear um, distributed, understood, and really internalized by your employees. I also think that viewing culture and brand integration as a strategic leadership responsibility is key. Oftentimes what I see is that leaders will delegate brand building to marketing and culture building to human resources and kind of consider their job done. Okay, fine, we're, we're all set. But if you truly want to have this integration, this fusion of brand and culture, you as a leader of an organization need to, to champion both. You need to be assuming leadership responsibility for building your culture and building your brand and ensuring that they are tightly integrated. I've created an online assessment tool that you can use to assess the current state of your brand culture fusion and then also identify the values that you need in your organization to ensure that you have this tight integration between brand and culture. And there you will be able to, you can take the assessment on your own, it's for free, but there you'll be able to get a personalized report that you could take and then your colleagues or maybe the other leaders in your organization can take and you can compare notes and then map out an action plan based on that. Brand culture fusion is critical to an organization's success because it increases your workforce alignment. You don't have people kind of arguing or wasting time trying to figure out what is the right thing to do. Everyone's focused on a common goal and common values. It increases your competitive advantage because you're creating intangible value for customers and employees and your competitors can't rip that off. It helps you pass the test of brand authenticity that customers bring to companies that they want to do business with. If you truly are on the inside, what you say you are on the outside, then you have the power to win people's trust. And most importantly, you can get to your goals more quickly, more easily, more successfully because everyone in your organization is motivated by a common goal and everyone's committed to the impact you want to make in the world. So brand plus culture really does equal results. I so enjoyed all the people that are here. I think that everyone brings a unique perspective on their organization and the challenges that they face. For the panel that I facilitated, I learned so much from uh, folks talking about the experiences that they had, the lessons they've learned, what's worked, what's not. And I think that Re Work Rebooted is a great, and it creates a great environment for that knowledge sharing and for the peer learning that is so helpful because when you're in it, you know, working through it, you need to get, act, get action tools, actionable advice, and Work Rebooted is a great place to get that.